Hi everyone and welcome back to A Bar Above. Now today I'm going to share with you a really cool technique very, very quickly on how to kind of intensify some of the fruit flavors in some of the cocktails that we're making. So stay tuned. So if you've ever created a cocktail utilizing some of the juices that we have behind the bar and it's just a little bit too watery, um, you have a couple options as far as concentrating some of that flavor and removing some of the water from the cocktail. So we're going to take a look at two different ways of doing that and um, show you a really cool technique very, very quickly. So if we look at some of the juices that we use behind the bar, a significant portion of this is water. There's a lot of flavor in here as well, but the majority of this is water. So um, one way to kind of compress the flavor and really accentuate the fruit flavor is to evaporate some of that water out through boiling and many of you have probably done this before in order to concentrate some of the flavor. Um, some juices don't react so well to heat and eventually it's going to taste kind of burnt and a little bit cooked and just going to have a little bit of an oxidized taste to it. Um, now there is another technique, um, essentially freeze distillation that we could utilize as well to help remove some of the water from this and concentrate that fruit flavor. So it's a really easy technique and it's actually something that I did at home. So all you're going to need for special equipment is a Tupperware container, something that's easy to freeze, and some juice. Um, later on we'll need a couple things, but we'll get there in a second. Um, so all you're doing is freezing this thing solid in about 24 hours. And when you bring it out, you're going to set it inside of a bowl with a um, colander on top of it, or a strainer, and allow the ice to melt. Now, as it melts, the first things that are going to thaw out are the fruit juices and all the other flavor and stuff in here, except for the water. Now, a little bit of water is going to melt as well, um, but uh, if you look at it, you'll see that there's kind of this weird band um, as it slowly begins to melt, and what will be left on top is basically just ice. So if you cut that off, set that aside, and just keep doing this process, what you end up with is a super concentrated juice um, that has about 50% less water, and that'll definitely translate in your final cocktail as well. So that's it. Um, have fun with it. I'd love to see what you guys uh, come up with this technique. Share some cocktails, and definitely head over to abarabove.com. We'll have uh, some more resources there for you as well. So uh, thanks again. Have a great shift, everyone, and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabove.com.